Hello and welcome back to Adas Garage. My name is Rasmus and today I'm going to show you how you make a door that looks as terrible as that one right there look as great as this black one right here. So make sure that you stay tuned. As we can see down here we have some old bad rust repair that has started to rust even though the doors hasn't been fitted to a car. So to avoid this happening in the future we will fit a pre-made panel. This panel comes from MVP Vintage Car Parts. The link to their website will be in the description. So yeah, I will now get started because I can't wait to get these new door skins onto the doors and get the doors onto the car. Yes, now I will start to remove the old one and the plan is to remove these up here and there are a couple of spot welds and then I will work my way down the edges and I will remove the paint and expose uh, the spot welds and then I will drill out the spot welds and unfold the metal. But when I get around about here I will have to do some improvising because here is where the old repair job starts. So I will probably cut up the metal from underneath here and then remove little by little so that I have a perfect edge to fold the new door skin around. So we will take it easy and uh, see how it goes. A little bit of a top tip grind very carefully around the edge until you see the different layers of steel and then you can just basically just peel this off Yes, now it's finally removed and I have to say I had a little bit of luck because I found that uh, they had made uh, two pieces of metal like the door skin and then like the reinforcement for the door this and they had welded them together down here so I found the weld and then I grinded it down a bit and then, and then I took the blade and the hammer and just went all the way through with it so I now still have the piece to fit the new door skin to I just need to clean it up but if we take a look up here where they hadn't done any rust repair, we can still see how much rust was hiding in between the metals. Especially up here next to the window, you can see how much rust it is. But this will be fine. I will have to remove all of the surface rust and then put some new paint on it. I can put some primer on it and still be able to weld the new door skin on there. I will also take some time to clean everything up inside here. So because I will not have uh, the opportunity to clean the inside of the door ever again when I put the new door skin on here and I am finally done this took so many hours to get all this cleaned up the inside took about 15 to 20 minutes but it was the the outside that took forever to do because because of the red paint it was so on there and I wonder what type of paint that was but now it's clean this is the inside and it's looking tremendous I can now put on some primer before I fit the new door skin so that I know for sure that everything is painted. And uh, if we take a look on the other side, you can see that I had to use a combination of uh, the sandblaster and a wire wheel because the thing was that the paint was so hard to get off, I had to use the wire wheel. I couldn't only use the sandblaster because it was taking so much air so it was getting a little bit too hard for my compressors so but yeah the wire wheel does it as good as so you might be wondering why I didn't just like paint over the red paint and that was because I had a lot of rust you can see here there were some rust and uh, also here we had a lot of rust so and the thing was it was sort of hiding underneath the paint and so I took the decision that it was well worth the time to remove everything so that I know for sure that I do not have any rust creeping up from underneath the new paint when when it's all done so and over here we have new door skins and uh, also the old one and yeah <laughs> it was uh, really time to change these I mean they look horrible 
just look at them and yeah it would have wouldn't have been nice to like put some body filler on here and painted it up because give it a couple of years and it would have looked just as horrible again so but the new ones are looking tremendous i have to say i'm impressed by the quality of, of like the steel it's a uh, very sturdy not flimsy or anything the only thing that i have found that doesn't sort of compare up to the original one is that on this one you have a little flap here that you sort of uh, put into the frame of the door and then sort of bend it but i think this is because in the factory they put on the door skin and then uh, bent this flap to sort of hold it in place and then they send it into the next machine to, that sort of uh, puts it together so this it doesn't really matter that you don't have it on the new one because you will still like put all these uh, spot welds up here so now i will go ahead and put on the new one Yes, now the spot belts on the top here is uh, done and grinded down, so now I will try to flip the door over and start to bend over the edges. Yes, now the metal is uh, in place and everything is bent down. I'm very satisfied with how this turned out. The metal was so easy to bend and really went into place. And uh, I was a little bit worried here that I would have to like cut it up a few times, but like the only place that I had to do a little bit of a cut was uh, up here in the corner. But I will weld this up and you will never notice that this has been there. So. Yes, it looks like a car again and I'm so stoked about how this turned out. It looks tremendous. I mean, the body lines are absolutely spot on and yeah, I just had to put the fender on there to get to see how how it looks. And if we open the door, oh, it's locked. Like that, we can see the results from inside and I mean, yeah, it looks awesome. It really looks like it would have come out of the factory this way and it was actually very easy to just put it on and I have done this a, a few times before but not a door skin on a BMW 2002 and if you don't want to go through like the work that I have done here today you can actually buy a brand new door from MVP Vintage Car Parts that is so cool it truly helps us uh, restore us out here to keep these cars going when you can just buy awesome parts like this and uh, yeah there's one thing though that i will have to do a little bit more work on it's uh, it's this uh, piece right here i will have to make a cut here and here as well to try and get a more round shape because this point is spot on and this and this but it's in between of them it's it's a little bit too straight here and here so i will make one more cut here and here and then try to get a little bit more of a round shape to it but otherwise i'm so happy how how this turned out and if you just take a look i could basically just go and paint this and yeah i'm impressed so 
So if you guys are looking into repairing your doors on your BMW 2002, I can definitely recommend these door skins. Yeah, very good quality, so. Yes, this will be it for today because uh, the other door will be exactly the same procedure. It is as easy as this one. You just remove the old door skin and then put the new one on. But in the next video, I will show you how the other one turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching and remember to subscribe and hit the like button. And I will see you in the next video.